Hello, and welcome to Castaway Gamer TV. Today we're going to be looking at the ICBM mod. Now normally, TNT would be the only way to cause a boom in vanilla Minecraft. But what the ICBM mod does is it adds uh, thousands and thousands of new explosives and ways to deliver them upon your enemies. Basically allows you rain death upon people from miles and miles away. Now, this new explosive is called a short fuse TNT. Now, TNT usually has a delay from when you ignite it to when it actually explodes, which is useful for you to run the fuck away. But this gets rid of that, which makes it perfect for um, instant uh, kill. So instead of, you know, if you put a pressure pad on TNT and someone walks over it, it's not guaranteed to kill them because it could get pretty far away before the TNT actually goes off. But that removes the delay. Now this is shrapnel, and what shrapnel does, it doesn't actually cause a physical dent in the landscape, but it fires thousands of arrows around it, and it kills me. And they're kind of on fire, so it's quite dangerous, um, but it doesn't actually hurt the landscape. Now this is incendiary, and basically what incendiary does is um, uh, causes fire to spread over a large area. So I'm hiding behind this because I don't want to die again, but that doesn't really help. Um, so it's basically like napalm. You can just, it just explodes and spews fire, but it doesn't actually hurt the landscape around it, uh, again. I'm on fir trees, which is another flat of this. Yeah. Um, now, there are no recipes in this mod, so don't look for them. There's gonna be a recipe book video, just go there, and if you wanna know how to build this legit, um, it's, it's all there, so just look there. So this is chemical, this is a chemical bomb, and basically, it poisons everyone around it, and you keep taking damage, and it doesn't stop like normal poison would at like one health. It, you, it'll kill you unless you uh, cure yourself with an antidote or a bucket of milk. So see, look how cute you are. But it's quite devastating, especially in in large areas, because you can basically poison everyone. Now you can change all these uh, new explosives into grenades, so you can chuck them. Uh, I'm still poisoned. Um, by the oh yeah, that, we'll get into that later. Um, but basically, these new uh, uh, grenades just shrink down the area of effect, but allows you to chuck them anytime you want. Uh, that was a shrapnel grenade. The first one was the short fuse. Uh, this is the incendiary. So you can see that the range is significantly reduced. It doesn't have as much of a uh, power as the as the actual uh, blocks do. But it's, uh, the portability makes makes up for that, because you don't have to lay redstone, or you don't need to be near it to light it on fire, you can just chuck it. Plus there's a delay, so you can get away as well. Now these are launch pads, okay? These are how you deliver payloads through uh, the missile interface, or whatever you want to call it. Um, basically, uh, you need to have the launch pad itself, then you need to add uh, a launch screen, which allows you to put uh, the coordinates in. Then the, you have to add a support structure behind it. So what the support structure does is it basically it removes uh, the the chance of you missing. So right now I'm going to select coordinates with a radar gun, which you'll see later on in other videos, uh, and transfer them to the launch uh, screen. And then with a redstone current, I can fire my missile. Now this is the the green stuff is all first tier and first tier is not very good because it's inaccurate it can't go as far and um, you can't actually set a coordinates for it to explode in air or use frequency um, that's a shrapnel missile second tier is a bit more accurate thanks to the support frame it can fly, fly a bit farther and you can actually uh, uh, use a frequency uh, no you can't actually use frequency but you can set it to explode in air which is used for certain types of missiles and um the tier 3 uh, launch pad is the most useful because it is dead on accurate, there's no chance of missing. You can use a thing called a, a remote detonator to basically, or well actually a laser designator to um, uh, call down airstrikes and they can fly up to a thousand blocks away. So you could basically be in, in the middle of nowhere and still rain death upon anyone near you. And that was napalm, or the Incendiary, whatever you want to call it. It is. Now, uh, you can't see what this chemical missile does, but it, I, I assure you, if there's anything living there, it would be dead. So, missiles are are basically the point of the game. That's the point of the mod. Um, 
being because intercontinental ballistic missiles is the name, and and you have to power it with these things called generators. Well, you have to look at the universal electricity mod if you want to know what those are. So now anti ballistic missiles. This is the first tier two missile. And basically, if you're getting attacked by your enemy, so let's say your enemy launches this missile. You have to launch your anti-ballistic missile. It'll target down any missile in the air and blow it up. So it can defend you against missile attacks. Very useful if you're playing with other people. Now, cluster missiles, um, they basically fire eight separate missiles. They're like, you know in Iron Man, the Jericho missile? Yeah, it's like that. But... The great thing about tier 3 launch, uh, launch screens are that you can set where it explodes in air. So basically this won't explode in contact, it'll explode 20 blocks above and spew down all those uh, extra missiles instead of shooting them all in the ground, which is kind of useless. But it's uh, quite deadly if used in the right range. Now, uh, that, I think, is a cluster bomb. And what a cluster bomb does is basically spews small explosives outwards and then blow up there. They don't actually blow up in the main block, they blow up away from it. Um, and the fragmentation missile, it does the same thing, except in missile form. Long range explosive explosives. Yeah, I stand by what I said. Yeah, I the problem is sometimes the range the missile's range is greatly increased as opposed to just the block itself. So sometimes when I'm trying to get a range properly so send so that it doesn't kill me, I don't do it well. Now that is a contagious explosive. And what a contagious explosive does, it basically poisons you and uh poisons anything with it. And then if anything living thing gets near it, be it cows or me, it'll pass on the, the poison to them. It never wears off and it never stops until you either cure it yourself or you're dead. So you can see how the new cows are still being uh, inflicted by it despite the bomb only hitting the old cows. So it's quite deadly if there's if you hit an enemy camp or something like that. Um, because, I mean, I, I've been get infected three times and I've cured myself. So if you don't have an antidote handy, you're basically dead. And also you'll hurt your friends. It's kind of like the leper disease, and you have to have your own leper camp until you die. Eh, that's not very nice. So this is a missile form. It greatly increases the range again, so it's even more deadly. Plus, you can call it from afar instead of having to be there and having a chance that you get infected. That's useful. And so basically, you infect the cows, and the new cows get infected as well. And, well, you know the rest. Oh, it missed. Oh, no, it didn't. Now this is a remote detonator, you'll see that in another video. And that is a sonic explosive. And what a sonic explosive does, it tears up the ground around the bomb, and then throws it everywhere um, near it, basically. Like, look, look at that. I'm making a mountain under a molehill if I ever saw it. So yeah, that was the tier 1 and 2. Make sure to look at tier 3 and 4, um, because they basically had a bigger boom. Thanks for watching.